Alrighty, so this next one, this is part three of four. Um, so we look, first we looked at timecode and gen lock in the engine, then we looked at live link, getting the live link XR plugin working inside the engine. Oh, pardon, not in the engine, of course it's working in the engine. I mean um, inside play mode, like so. Um, so we, we can do our tracking and stuff like that and you know we can make all sorts of changes to it uh, as we feel fit um, without ever having to hit play to actually do anything uh, as well as how to record just a quick look at recording that in the take recorder so now in this third one we're going to look at the time delay right so um, obviously there's like there needs to be a delay um, you know the tracking comes in before the video um, so we need to add a delay to the tracking. Now in the past I've done it in a blueprint and technically there is nothing stopping you from doing that in this blueprint. You know this is actually a rather simple blueprint so you could just you know do make an array and read back from the array. Easy. Um, but instead we're going to show off a new tool that was new in 4.26 um, called the timed data monitor. So that is under developer and then timed data monitor. Um, so, um, blah, 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 blah. I've lost my words. Um, so this is a plugin, so you have to enable the plugin. If I find it, we go timed data, there it is, time data monitor. So you've got to enable that, and then it'll show up here. And so this will show everything running with a timecode. So if your tracking supports timecode, then it will show up as well. Um, now, this tracking doesn't support timecode um, as such. Uh, like um, it's it's just using the engine's timecode, or it's using the time on my computer. Um, so the hitting calibrate, uh, okay, hitting calibrate won't actually do anything. Um, so our video will show up here as well. So if I quickly add that in, just as an example, so we go. Uh, oh, I haven't set up the media bundle properly. Okay, I don't, I don't want to do that then. <laughs> um, we'll look at that in the next one. Um, so, the, you know, this this one, oh, you really should do these at the same time, but I, they're going to be different tutorials. So, ba basically, we have our, uh, la you know, here's all our timed things. Um, we can, if we hit calibrate and they all have a time code, they can be synced. This one doesn't have a proper time code. Uh, so instead what we can do though to delay it is this time correction. We hit edit and it says in seconds and if I just hit one and then hit go, um, that's going to delay the tracking by one second. So it's hard to notice but it's, that's what it's doing. <laughs> Um, you may need, I may need to up the buffer size, um, just so it can fit everything in it, but if I change this to like five seconds, and then, yep, <laughs> so I'm pushing it right now, and then it goes. So that's how, uh, we can use the time data monitor to just add a really quick, snappy little um uh delay in now it's it's so easy now um so uh just keep an eye on your frame rate so if we are doing like 25 fps and we want to delay it by um five frames uh then it's five go 25 divide 1, 1 divide 25, 1 divide 25, so 1 divide your frames and then times how many frames you want the offset to be, so if we want a 4 frame offset that's going to be 0 0.16 seconds, so then we're going to type 0 0.16, enter, now we have a delay of 4 frames. Um, I have not thought of a better way other than trial and error and just looking and recording and then watching back frame by frame to figure out the required delay. Um, anyone else knows a better way than just eyeballing it, I guess? Uh, I'm all ears. I'd love to hear about it. Um, and this works with Take Recorder. This just works. It's so nice. So um, that's why uh, this timed data monitor is so nice. And I haven't seen anyone make a video on it, I don't think. I haven't been overly looking, but yeah. 
Awesome. Cool. Well, thank you for watching this incredibly short video. Uh, so the next one is going to be just setting up Composure. So we're not actually using Composure anymore. We're using a um, another custom solution, which is like a plane in the world. So it does reflections and shadows and stuff like that. That is really complex to set up. Um, well beyond just a single tutorial on it. So um, we're going to look at Composure though, which is a much simpler way. You just don't get those shadows or anything. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching.